So if you spend any time with kids or youth, then you know that social anxiety is a common part of growing up. Today we're going to learn how to recognize it and some things we can do that helps. Oh look, he came back. Pretty surprising considering how bored he was last week. Remember how he hardly even spoke a word? Shame he has such a bad attitude. Wonder what he's thinking. So I guess we don't always know when someone is struggling, like when they're feeling anxious in a social situation. I mean, we've all had those awkward moments before, right? Like when you realize you have mustard stains all over your shirt. Or you're just trying to be funny. I mean, that's not a big deal, is it? People can just like get over it, right? Well, maybe not. Sometimes those anxious feelings can take over a person's thoughts and make socializing really tough. In fact, social anxiety can negatively impact a person's whole life. It can happen to anyone, anywhere, even students who are at your church. Social anxiety, five ways to help. Let's start with what social anxiety looks like. Of course, it's easy to spot because young people are always amazing at expressing their innermost feelings even before we ask. Oh wait, that's not right. Often, kids keep their feelings to themselves, but signs of social anxiety can be recognized if we know what to look for. So how hard can it be? I mean, you've got a kid who's withdrawn, avoiding eye contact, blushing, trembling, tense, speaks with an overly soft voice, and has a tummy ache? Obvious, right? What? It's not always so obvious? Oh, turns out social anxiety can also show up in ways that might not be so easy to recognize, like negativity, acting bored, angry, annoyed, defiant, trouble paying attention, mind going blank, and even overreacting to the slightest thing. And what these kids may be feeling on the inside might surprise you too. It's more than just being shy. People who have social anxiety feel a lot of fear. They're afraid of being judged or of accidentally offending someone. They're afraid of being embarrassed and being the center of attention. And often, they're afraid that people will know that they're afraid. That sounds pretty tough. We don't want to see anyone feel that way, especially at church. Sure would be nice if we could do something to help them Oh wait, there is! If you suspect that a student may be struggling with social anxiety in your classroom, here's five things you can do to help. Number one, start by being very warm and welcoming when they come to your class. Remember that some students will display social anxiety in ways that invite support, but others' anxiety may have surfaced in more difficult ways in the past, and these students often enter a room expecting to not be wanted. And that's no good. So no matter what type of behavior your student has displayed before, Make sure that each time you greet them, you make them feel welcome, wanted, and cared for. Number two, make expectations clear. Creating a predictable routine, preparing for transitions, and clearly communicating expectations can create a more stable environment. This helps everyone, but it can be crucial for those who are already feeling anxious. Number three, create opportunities for them to interact with their peers at their own pace. This could look like small group discussion or even parallel play for younger students. And remember when creating these small groups, you want to include kids who are known to be kind and compassionate to help create a safer environment. Number four, if you have a student who is very quiet, never try to force them to change by putting them on the spot to speak in front of the whole class. And remember that social anxiety can make focusing hard and sometimes even make a person's mind go blank when they're called on. So if a student seems lost, don't scold them for not paying attention, especially in front of others. And number five, respect their wishes. If a student is quiet or prefers watching more than engaging, that is A-OK. -okay. Remember that it's not our role to make a student more social. Our role is to create a supportive and caring environment for all students, just as they are. Well, that was great. I'm so glad we were able to solve social anxiety in five easy steps. Wait, what? We can't solve it? 
but we can make it better and doing that makes a big difference in a student's life. Oh, well in that case, there's one more thing before you go. Think about a time when you were feeling anxious about a social situation. How did you feel? What happened next? Were there things in that situation that made your anxiety rise? Or did someone do something that made you feel better? Now think about your students. What is one thing you can do now to help? Thanks for joining us today.